Yes, 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 yes. All right, YouTube. Ah, you see that demo there? That's what it is. All right, it's a 2007 Impala LS. Pure blue metallic. Now this RS right here. I don't know where that came from. Now a lot of folks think I did this. I did not do this. Okay, this car came like this when I bought it. I did not do this. This car came this way. Who did that? Sure would be. Anywho, <clears throat> it's not. Uh, it's not a K and N, by the way. If you think it's a K and N, it's not what it is. It looked like it, but it's not. I actually kind of rigged this up a little bit. I did. <laughs> hey, but I think it looks all right though. Looks all right to me. I bought this little pipe here from all the zones though. I bought these couplers right here and I got another one. No, I didn't use the other one. I just used one. That one right there. I like this one because it's covered the whole cone like this. See what I'm saying? These are the best kind to get like this. I like it. I don't forgot the name of that. I don't know what the brand is, but I know it ain't okay in here though. Uh oh yeah. I'll show you what condition wise then. Yep, the Grand Telly wires. Zero on Grand Telly. Actually, I didn't know they made these for the Impala, but they do. And they got me a pair of them. Zero on resistance. They are resi zero on resistance. I, I didn't believe that, but, but they actually are. I like them. I've been trying to get a core pack for it, but core pack right here. But they don't make a core pack. For this car, at least not an aftermarket. All right, anywho, uh, <clears throat> now you probably wonder what the hell is all this shit here. Well, this is a boat stabilizer. The hmm. wiring is bad. That's all. It is it's a boat stabilizer. Is what it is. <laughs> Stabilizes things. I think you can wire it to your chassis of your car. The frame, I think you get your bright rider lights or something. And if you put it to your intake, you get, I guess, better. I don't know. Something. Something like that. Supposed to get extra horsepower. I don't know if that's true or not. I really can't tell. But I know as far as me, look at that. See right down there? Can't really see it, though. There you go. See that? 13.3 volts. That's my battery volts now. Now, how in the heck can a battery be 13.3 volts when a battery fully charged is only 12? Well, uh, I think it's like from 12 to 12.5. But this is showing 13.3. I don't know how is that possible. <laughs> but that's what it's showing. So, and you see, I got a regular battery. So what? Ever, ever start? Some punk ass ever start battery I got? Anywho, that's what it's showing. And no, it's not. Uh, I heard people online. Oh, that's blinking right there. Uh, maybe it's the sunlight. Maybe huh? I heard on YouTube a lot of guys complaining about it don't work. You see, it is keep cutting off and on when my eyes not doing it. You see right here, my eyes not cutting off. It's staying on. Now that blinking there, I don't know what that blinking is. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe it's the sunlight. <laughs> I believe so. I think it's the sunlight doing that. Oh yeah. No, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Some woman asked me that I need a jump. No, I don't need no jump. I'll just get you my car. Just <laughs> appreciate what she was trying to do, but I don't need no help. Come on, man. I got my own jumper cables. Anywho. Back to uh, <clears throat> this. Oh, now it don't stop. See there it is? 13.3 volts. A lot of people on YouTube say it don't work. It's a razor volt stabilizer, performance stabilizer. It works on my car. I don't know what these guys tell me it don't work. Mine work. See clearly right there, it's not cutting, it's not going out on and off. And in fact, it stays like this overnight. All day it stays like this. So what these cats talking about it don't work, maybe they're not doing it right. 
see it's where you put the connections at you see what i'm saying that's what it's about i got one in the frame here i got another one my alternator at there on the back where i'm alternator at. see people don't realize that you do that they got to get your uh, alternator charge better like that that's what that see that's what people don't understand you put up another ground here to charge better and i got another one on my uh, intake here but you can't see it manifold upper intake manifold i got two more right here got one right there on the front of the intake manifold close to the head gasket which is right there you can't really see it but right there i got another one there and the other one right here on top of the water well <laughs> i wouldn't say water pump but right there that's um what's part of the water pump on top Close by the, uh, where the radiator um, goes in, the cooler goes in. So that's where I got it at. So you got to have metal contacts. See, that's what people don't understand. You got to have metal contacts for it to do its job. And that could be why there isn't hacking right. See, that stuff got to be metal to metal. See that? Metal. Metal. That's metal right here. See, you got to be metal to metal. That's metal right there. That's metal right here by the up at the uh, You can't see it there, though. But it's there. Intake manifold right here. That's another um metal 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 contact. It'll do it do it like that, it'll do its job. So I don't know these cats might don't work, it does work. Anyway, 3.5 full seven dollars my intake machine. <laughs> well cold air intake semi rigged up. But I like it. It's kinda off a little bit, but I don't give a damn. Cause I you know I, I had the reason why I think it's like that because I try to put too much lymph on. I want to get it down in the fender, which I succeeded. Right there. Oh yes, and I, another thing I want to show my mother freaking uh, flow master shit. Which they are right here. Well, that's the tip right there. I don't know how long the tip is. As you can see, there we go, motherfucker. See that? See that tip there? It's been a long tip, ain't it? Yes. Nice to get the muffler, Super 50s. No, I don't have the 44. I got the Super 50s. I didn't want the Super 44s. I wanted something different, so I got something different. And besides, I haven't seen no Impala with the Super 50s. That's why I got them. I like what these son of bitches sound. Oh, another thing I got to show you shit. I'm going to cut it on too to see what it sound like. Shit. Damn, oh, motherfucker, man. What is getting down and shit. Damn, I don't know if y'all can split. Wait a minute. Wait, oh, there it is. I wonder if y'all can see that. Oh, uh, yeah, you can right there. See that pipe right there? That was where my resonator was. I had it removed. And got a straight pipe. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I got my resonator moved. I want to do that because I want more horsepower. That's why I told him to take it off. And I can't show you up there. I can't really see what he did up there where the uh, Cadillac Converter is. I can't really see up here. But I'm going to try to try my best to get up up here. Yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. I think he sealed that off too. I think he put another one there to look like. Okay. Yeah, you can see it right there. Yeah, right there. And I don't know if he replaced that or yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he did. He placed my Cadillac converted to look like that. Well, at least the pipe he placed there. Yeah, like he gave me a long one, a long one. Yeah, oh, that th yeah, that thing long, bro, oh, yeah. Yeah, I think he replaced that, too. It's hard to tell from here, but it looked like he replaced that. Yeah, he did, but that's what I wanted. Yeah, there, there you go, color picture right there. Clear as day. Yeah, baby, the Super 50s. Not the 44, the Super 50s. Hey, let me go cut it off. Cut it on. Let y'all see what it sounds like. And also, 
I'm gonna show you my volt stabilizer. And see how the, how it holds up with the volts. Let me set this son of a bitch down here. Mm. Might not be able to hear it like this. Hold up. Might be able to see it like this. I don't know. Hold up. I want to break my damn phone, my thing here. What I'm gonna do now is my uh, dashboard. It's kind of dusty in here. I got my new uh, dash cover mat there. Pop. Got the name up there. Yes. Yeah, nice little dash mat. Nice. It's great. You see that? I think it look nice. Caught my. Um, I hate this thing right here. This servitage. Hate that shit. There we go. 130,960. When I got this car, this car had like 100, I think 107. So I put like 20, 23, about 27. So I know it's over 20,000. So we're not bad. Which how many miles per gallon I'm getting. Look at that. 20 point now, I'm with 29 miles per gallon. Not bad. Pretty damn good. But what I'm gonna do here right now is I'm gonna let my car get to warming, I mean to a normal temperatures, and I'm gonna cut my AC heat on, which I got it set right there. I'm gonna cut my red on for a blast. My headlights, they, they automatically come on, so I ain't gotta worry about that. I'm gonna cut the brights on. What I'm what I'm doing here is I'm gonna rev the engine up too. I want y'all to see my volt stabilizer, what the kind of volts I get with everything on. Like I said before, a lot of people say that volt stabilizers don't work. Mines work. I don't know what these cats, how they got their wires or whatever, but mine no mines work. So I want y'all to see. I'm going to prove it to you. That mines work. Maybe y'all got a defective. You know, you can't buy defective parts. So 
Maybe I just happen to get a good, a good one. You see the car there almost. Wait a right there. Wait. It's almost at normal temperature. It's halfway there. It's in the center right there. Like I said, I'm trying to wait till my temperatures get to normal driving temperature. I'm going to uh, cut everything on. Because that's when everything works more effectively. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to cut it on or use it now while everything's still the car staying warmed up yet. So you, you might not get a right reading. So when everything gets to normal temperature, then I can know for sure what this thing can do. And it does good for my car. I don't know. Maybe how I got my um, ground wires at. Maybe that's what it is. But it's doing a damn good job. I must say, I like it. Now, as far as the horsepower goes, I don't know about all that. I don't know. They say it get horsepower, but I don't know about believe that. But. Oh, I forgot another mod I forgot to show y'all. <laughs> Damn, I almost forgot. My mother freaking stage one chip. I forgot all about this here. Got it for like over two weeks, about three weeks now, I think. Not a nine bucks. This shit actually works, man. A lot, a lot of people say it doesn't do anything, but I took it a loose, man. No, it's not no wires in, 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 uh, in uh, not wires. Yeah, it ain't no wires in uh, resistance. No. This damn thing actually has a PCB with a memory chip on it. It actually does. Right in the center. Big one. So that day, this damn thing actually it actually does receive data. So it ain't no piece of shit. So I took it loose and looked at it. It has a PCB with a memory chip on it. it this shit does work. See, like I said, you got to have mods with it, man. Like, I got my flow masters and shit. I got my short ramp, my cold air intake. You know, I got my Quintelli wires. Then I got this chip here. And I got that Volk stabilizer. So, it, it, it works good when you got mods to accommodate, like I got on my car. Now, if you just put it in there by itself, you really ain't going to see anything. You might get a little better response. Engine response, ignition, or whatever you want to call it. You might get a little better than that. You may gain three horsepower by itself. Maybe it's that. Yeah, but by itself, you really don't get much like that. You have to get more to, uh, to work with it. Not like it, man. This, this, for that or nine miles, that ain't bad. They say you can get up to 35 horsepower, but I'm guessing that's with mods, not by itself. You ain't gonna get that by itself. You might get it with mods. I got two mods now, so that may help me. I might not get the full 35, but I'll probably get like, uh, maybe 20. You know, 15, 20, that's better than nothing. I'll take into that shit. Alright. And look at my temperatures here. Alright, there we go. It's getting there. Come on then, Paula. It's getting there. Come on. I'm gonna show the folks up. I wanna show YouTube that this boat stabilizer does work. At least mine works. <laughs> Got one more line to go and I be and I be there. One more line, come on. As you can see, I got a hundred well <clears throat> hundred and thirty thousand miles. Almost hundred and thirty-one thousand. Just my RPM is I don't know what that look like what seven hundred look like? Oh yeah, that's what it looked like. 700 RPM. Um, come on, baby. Come on. Got one more to go. Right there. You're almost getting there. Come on. Wow. This damn video almost 20 minutes long. That ain't bad. Well, YouTube, I don't mind showing y'all what I, what I got. And I'm still working on my car. Okay, I'm not I'm not through with it. I'm still working on it. I got other stuff I'm gonna do to it too. So now I just want to show y'all my mods. Uh, once again, I got the uh, Flow Masters Super 50s with the tip on them with deleted resonator. That's what I got. Now, I ain't seen no battle YouTube with Super 50s on the Impala. All I see is Super 44. That's all I see. So basically, I think I'm the first. If it is somebody, I ain't seen them. Well, I see mostly 44s, and I seen this cat, he has some sporty, sporty series, but I ain't never seen no Super 50s. So, that's why I got mine. I got, I got the one I got. I want to be different. I ain't want to get what everybody else got. So, yeah, that's what I did. You saw my mods, my Stage 1 chip, my Grand Tele Zero on wires, Super 50s, uh, tip on them. 
Delete Resonator, my uh, Vote Stabilizer, and my Air Intake, Co Air Intake. But I don't know who the company is. They got a weird name. It's not KN. Because KN doesn't make one for the, the, uh, the 3.5 liter. I think they have one for the SS, the 5.3 they have one for, but this is just the 3.5. They don't have one. This is another company here. What I got. And it's and this this actually for the SH2, but it's compatible with 3.5. You know. I just don't know the name of it. And they got a weird name to it. I, I, I couldn't really really couldn't pronounce it really. Strange name. I know it ain't KN, so don't think KN got one for 3.5 liter because they don't. It says 5.3 liter, yes, they got one for that. But for this 3.5, they don't. The one I got, that's another company. I just don't understand the name of it. And it's actually, I think this intake's better than KN because this, this, you saw earlier when I showed you my cone, the box, the uh, the, uh, the protective shield actually covers the whole damn cone. The back, both sides and top. KN don't do that. They need the top open. So I actually like this this filter better than the one, not, but this uh kit better than uh, KN's kit. You actually be getting in cold out. I think I think we're there now. Yep, the engine there. Here we go. Cut my thing on full blast. All right. Cut my radio on. And then the chief of staff, uh, John Kelly, actually made a statement that you could construe as a defense of this guy, and oh, they're oh, outraged oh. over that. They think John Kelly, thing. upon learning what the guy did, should have been fired the moment he found out about it. Right. See my bones right there now. Don't you want now? 14. Look at this. I'm proving the point to y'all. Look at this now. I got my radio up high as it goes. I got my bright light on. I got my AC on full blast. And look at this. Look, look how the bones I'm getting, man. Look at this. This is fucking insane. But don't tell me this shit don't work up the hell. Look at this, man. Look at almost 15 volts. Are you kidding me? Look at this. I told you I'm proving the point. You can't just say this don't work. You ain't doing it right there. Look at this. 15 volts. Lord have mercy. I'm getting 15 volts right there. Oh, it's steady climbing. 15.23. down now. But still, you get the point, right? Look at that, man. That's insane, though, man. Look at this. Lord, have mercy. 15.2. Well, that's all they're going to get now. I got my bright light on. You can't tell because it's daylight. The reason for the world. Supposedly left is because her access was denied. Because she was showing Trump a bunch of fashion show stuff. They thought this is more important than the latest fashion, so when they dumped Omarosa out of there, now she's back on reality TV. I want to play for you, Jake Tapper. I want you to hear this. Jake Tapper, yesterday on CNN, on his show called The Lead with Jake Tapper. I want you to. You saw that now. I was getting 15 votes, YouTube. You saw that. Now don't tell me this shit don't work. Mine work. Y'all just don't work. All right. I just want to show y'all something. That's it. Proving the point here.